Viktor Orbán and his government have been ruling Hungary since 2010. This government has waged a war on democratic institutions. And this war grew more and more intense every day. State institutions lost their independence one by one. The media faces increasing legal challenges and the few surviving independent strongholds are starved by financial means. Now Orbán's government has won another election, this time with rules exclusively made by and for its own party. Deluded by its questionable victory, this government has just launched a final attack on the last critical voices, NGOs and the online media. The Orbán government can stand the mere existence of NGOs that have criticized governments in Hungary for decades. Independent organizations are labeled as problematic and leftist. They face illegitimate inspections and even closure. Governmental agents raid NGO offices that manage grants by Western European countries, such as Norway, Iceland, and Liechtenstein. At the same time, editor-in-chief of the largest Hungarian online newspaper, Origo, was removed from his position. Apparently, his only sin was the publication of articles that revealed a high-profile governing party politician's massive abuse of state funds. The management denied political pressure, but journalists working formerly for the newspaper could only confirm if the government successfully silences NGOs and the press, the last hope of Hungary's return to its democratic path will be lost. Hungary's shame is Europe's shame too. If you don't want a serf dictatorship in your backyard, turn to your MP and tell them to speak up for Hungarian democracy.